everybody, my name is Evelyn. Today we are going to be talking about the history of America. America was discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1492. In the Middle Ages, Europeans traded with India in silk and spices. However, the journey to India overland was way too expensive and dangerous. Columbus guessed that the earth was round, so he decided to sail west. When his ships reached mainland, he thought he was in Asia, but in fact, he discovered a new world, America. At that time, America was inhabited by Native Americans, also called Indians. They lived a simple lifestyle. They lived in teepees, longhouses, and wigwams. They were hunting their own food using some special tools and weapons that were handcrafted by them, like spears, bows and arrows, tomahawks, and more. Their children didn't go to school. They learned everything from their parents. They hunted buffaloes, cooked their meat, and used buffalo skins to make clothes and shoes. The so-called Plains Indians didn't live in one place. They also had dogs and horses. After Christopher Columbus, many Europeans settled in America. Today, America is considered a melting pot of different nationalities that live and mix together. Sadly, most Native Americans nowadays live on reservations. There's lots of poverty and unemployment. Rates are high. But luckily, there are some exceptions. Some young Indians actually go to school and college, speak English, get important jobs, live in modern houses in cities, and become very successful. Hi, my name is Theo, and I'd like to present a different theory about the discovery of America. It suggests that the first Europeans reached America 500 years before Christopher Columbus. The story basically goes like this. Eric and Leif, the father and the son, were Vikings. They were born in Norway, but they moved to Iceland. They were very adventurous, so Eric one day traveled west and found an island called Greenland. Leif was also very known for being adventurous, but his ship one day went off course. He landed on a giant continent called North America. In the 1960s, archaeologists discovered a North settlement at the northern tip of Newfoundland. That is basically evidence that Vikings reached America 500 years before Christopher Columbus. There's also a lot of statues of Eric and life. Now let's talk about modern America. America is one of the biggest countries of the world and they are very car oriented. They have drive-ins for everything. They have them for restaurants, banks, drive-in cinemas, even churches. And a drive-in movie is a movie you can go to and watch in your car. A huge screen is set up in front of a parking lot so people park their cars and enjoy a film. And America is also an interesting country with lots of amazing sights. One of the most interesting monuments is Mount Rushmore. It's national national memorial of four presidents. Believe it or not, their faces were actually carved into the mountain. The presidents are George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and bye!